everybody, this is Beat Through Buckiness 7 with some more Subterra Prime. In the last part, a bunch of attempts for this level, which I am officially deciding to skip because it is a bad thing that is bad and I'm not feeling up to it. So let's move to the right where we, where we will be solving. No. Even after all this time, dude. Even after all this time. Anyway. We are going to be doing Bermuda Triangle, which is a level that I have no clue what it'll be. It'll probably be better than this one, so I'll take my chances here and we will do this. Bermuda Triangle by Den Vilda. So there's a bunch of rocks, gems, okay, let's take a look at what's going on. Okay, there's gonna be a shield, we have to raise the fire drake, and good god, that is, uh... That is some obvious photoshopping, if that was even photoshop. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so blatantly obvious, the clip stuff. I can't believe I didn't notice that as, as a kid. Anyway, so... Okay, then there'll be Cryobird. Is there any purpose to all of this? Hmm. Well, I have 228 seconds to grab all of the gems, I'm guessing. Some crates. What's the point of all these crates? Am I trying to stop something? Oh, I'm supposed to... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> okay, kill a spider to get this to explode. Okay, seekers will activate once I get all the gems. I think. Hmm. Wait, how do I get through that one? That's gonna be tricky. So then we go over here, guess we get the boots. Something's gonna have to explode to get the switch. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is gonna be complicated. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I can do about this. Grab the shield. Okay. This dude, okay, and I have the shield anymore. Okay, gotcha. I'm just gonna have to be super quick about this. All right. Get some skates, for some reason. And just grab these gems. Oh, this guy's right on my tail. Oh boy. Okay. Made it through. Step over here. Okay. Now I want to pause and think about what I want to do here. So, there's... Okay, ideally I want to get the skull over where the two intersect. But there isn't a magnet. Hmm. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Oh wait, I could probably grab a crate out of there actually. Yeah, why not? Alright, let's do this. For some reason, this broken wall is there. I don't see why. Okay, so, All right, as we established early, uh, just now, we want to grab a crate from here. In fact, I can probably grab more than one. In fact, I probably want to do this. Yes, exactly. Ah, see, this is a good feeling. I'm actually figuring out what I need to do. All right, so when was the last time I had a save file thing? Feels like it's been a while. I don't like that. Okay. So now we just kind of push the crates over here. And then in other places. In other words, we just kind of get everything where it needs to be. I'm going to get the furthest one closest to completion. That way I'll save time. Okay, actually, let's be careful here. Let's not get ourselves stumped either. That'd be very silly. <clears throat> okay. Shoop. And now we can go over here and do exactly what we just did, but with this one. Well, not exactly, but you get the drift. You get it? It's in Tokyo, I guess. According to some movie's title. The movie's title, which I am not inclined to trust with my finances, for some reason I'm not too sure about. 
I would know I never saw the movie so I wouldn't be able to tell you for certain I don't know, maybe they steal it I don't know I don't know I just don't know I'm not inclined to trust these kinds of titles you know like drifting in Tokyo like when you drift around you get like a higher percentage chance of crashing don't you that seems like you wouldn't want that to happen you know I, I wouldn't would you if so though more power to you but I will have to look at you with a side glance I'm sorry it's just kind of regulation anyway we're almost there for this guy I want to push him downwards I can do this here, activate the star, the crates link to the key, and I get some stuffs. Neato. Neato Magneto. Okay, is there gonna be a save? Nope, not yet. I think this, oh, no, there, there's one here. And I should have grabbed it. What? There isn't a single save in all of this before that. Oh my god. Denvilda, this is on you. You are to blame for this. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the rest of the level. I'll see you when I'm done. Alright. Okay. This is better. Alright, so... Break this thing. Well, it's not exactly better, but... It's back to where we were, so I'll take it. I'm not complaining here. <laughs> okay, so this time I'm gonna save uh -huh. since the option is given to me. It's still a complete utter blasphemy that there wouldn't be a save before that, but whatever. Okay, so some minerals are obtained here. Now, what I'm pondering about is this. Are these guys harmful? I don't think I want to try. I do know if I collect all these rubies, oh, yeah, they, they will leave, so... Really, I just need to... I don't need to get all the gems in this room, actually. That's... a new idea. Okay, oh, uh, uh, Look, a light! It's very bright. Look at it. I feel like being a perfectionist, still... Well, I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to get the boots out anyway, so, like, whatevs. Right. That switch. Okay, alright, let's think about how this is gonna be done. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, I can stop this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how. It's gonna be slow enough for me to go around and just barely stop it. Oh, that was too close. Ugh. Give me a heart attack now, man. Okay. Okay. Should I disable this? I'm gonna leave it for prosperity. Okay, so what I think I wanna do is start pushing these like that. Push this up and push this down. Now, can I get all the gems? I feel like getting all the gems. Well, I can definitely get all the gems. Alright, here we go. Completionist mode activated and perfected. I think. Let me look. Yeah, sure. I mean, for once, I can actually collect all the gems in a room, so I'm just gonna do it. Excellent! So that's this done, and... Alright, let's uh, take a look at uh, Calculus, which I recall is a horrible thing. Also because I, I'm taking Calculus right now and it's horrible, so... Alright, let's... Okay, so yeah, it's a similar thing to the 42 level that we saw earlier, except now it's gonna be even worse. Okay, let's take a, take a look at the hints. You must match the skull pattern with rocks to get to all five of the gems. So, how do I do that? Oh, so I just... Okay, so what's this say? Use these rocks for input. Set input before you activate the machine. 
Top rock switches to hard mode. Bottom rock activates machine. Okay, top rock. Okay, so what is this? What what, are, what am I supposed to do? It says match the skulls with uh, the, match the skull pattern with rocks to get all five of the gems. Now, how am I supposed to do that? I'm just supposed to do it exactly as it is supposed to. There's so much computation and imputation. I don't even know, man. Okay. Press and hold F5 to speed up the calculation. Calculation of what? I have literally no clue what I'm calculating here. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe it isn't actually calculus. Okay, so let's take a look at the binary value. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Okay, that's 17 so far. And then... Um, am I supposed to stop that ruby from falling? In? Okay, so... I need to make an addition of two numbers that will get this value. I'm already locked to having uh, the 16 value covered, I think. No, that the 8 value covered. So I have to mess around and get a result that isn't that, I guess. Those, these two leftmost skulls don't seem to really impact much. So I am going to assume that... Um... Okay, let's take a look at the variables to the right. Nothing is enforced over there, so you can just do that. That's perfectly fine with me. Yeah, I can leave that this one empty. I'm just gonna add another 16 over here. Or 8, whatever. So we'll leave this... These two. And all I need to do is just add the 5th to the right. And I know the 4th to the right. This. So, bottommost rock activates this, right? You must match the skull pattern with rocks. Okay. I have no idea how that's gonna happen, but let's do it. And I know it's done when the explosion happens, right? The explosion needs to happen for the rocks to be there. What? That is literally not what I asked of you. Am I subtracting? Well, I wouldn't know because this level doesn't even tell me what I'm calculating. I'm gonna smash the pattern with rocks to get all five of the gems. How? Peter, you're literally telling me nothing about what I'm supposed to do here. This is not how a puzzle works. Top rock switches the hard mode. Okay, fine. Hard mode it is. What's what's the friggin' difference with hard mode? What what am I doing? What am I doing? Can somebody please shed a light on what I'm trying to accomplish here? Cause I don't know. Am I supposed to break into the machine at some point? I guess... I mean, it seems to be like what I'm supposed to do... I 
I mean, maybe. I could see that being a thing. I see a bunch of tools. How do I make it through there? Is there a dynamite they can use to burst into here? Well, I guess. I guess I can use the teleporters. Yeah, I'll enter here, right? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to get in there to get some stuff. But first I wanna know how I'm supposed to solve this stupid mathematical equation above. Okay, what happens if I put all rocks? I wanna know what happens if I put all rocks. Maybe that'll shed a light. Honestly, I'm not a fan of this trial and error garbage. In case you didn't know already. Seriously, I'm trying to make sense of this, but... Okay. Let's see. I can make it in here. Get this. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Good thing I waited for that. Real magic is happening here, folks. of taking to make wow okay, this is never gonna finish calculating in time is it yeah yeah exactly I can't hurry up the machine it's stupid it's not my fault yeah yeah blah 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 okay that's not the answer obviously it just takes forever to calculate okay what happens if I Okay, you know what? I want to see what happens with only that thing. Only that one rock. That'll shed some light on what I'm trying to do. Maybe. Maybe. So let's say it is impressive all the work that went into making this machine. But it's like making a box that's super technologically advanced, except you have no clue what it does. <laughs> like, okay, that gives nothing, all right. Now let's see what happens if I do this. This. And then add the other two rocks. All right, let's see what happens then. I'm curious. I'm just trying to make sense of the machine here, folks. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. But if I understand the machine, I'll have a slightly better understanding of what I'm supposed to do, so... Let's start. Okay, I heard a teleporter. Mm. Is this also going to take forever to calculate? Oh, okay, yeah, I heard that. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Well, okay, so I, I am subtracting, right? Okay. Wait, no, how did that... The the normal value of this thing does not give anything. I don't get it. What What, what is this? What is everything representing? Some indication... Of the fact would be very much appreciated, Peter, is what I'm saying. 
Okay, what happens if I set these? And this. And the one at the bottom. So it's like, I'm, I'm literally just trying and erroring here. There's nothing puzzling about this. It's just annoying. Like actual math. <laughs> I'm messing. Math isn't that bad. When you know what's going on. When you don't, it's a complete utter nightmare. Like this room. Or level. Or whatever. Yeah. Okay, that exploded. And it gives nothing! Okay, now what if I do the same thing on both sides? I don't get it. Is this multiplication? Frankly, Peter, I'd like to know what I'm doing here. Seriously, tell me what I'm working on. A quadratic formula? Or quadratic, or whatever. I can pronounce it not as awkwardly. Yeah, what, what am I working towards? There is literally nothing in this room that tells me anything about what I'm working towards here. Nothing! It's just saying, oh, that's it's, it's a thing. It calculates things. Just throw rocks in there until something works. This is not good level design. You don't just throw rocks at a thing until it works. This is not how good levels are made. At all. No, seriously, that's not how it works. Not even close. Okay, now could something please work? Seriously, I'm really kind of getting sick of this already. One rock. Can someone please tell me what this means? Anybody. I literally have no way to figure out how this is gonna work out. No way whatsoever. Like, this is impossible without looking up help. Impossible. The, the, the level doesn't tell you what you're calculating. Is this an addition? Is this a subtraction? Is multiplication? Am I dividing? I don't think so. I don't know what I'm working towards. This is antagonistic level design. It is. This, this game. I literally have to look up help on the forums for this thing. There's no way to figure it out. Seriously, so let's look at the hints. Use these rocks for input. Set input before you activate the machine. Okay, good. That tells you how the setup works. Top rock switches to hard mode. Bottom rock activates machine. Okay, that tells us how the machine works. Press and hold F5 to speed up the calculation. Okay, that's once again towards the functioning of the machine. You must match the skull pattern with the rocks to get to all five of the gems. Okay, that tells you what you need to do to, to solve the level. But okay, it, it mentions the machine without saying what the machine does. This is not very kind, Peter. You're not very nice. And you're very secretive. Are you planning to secretly sign a treaty that will destroy all of our lives? And our livelihoods? And our cows? Don't you dare hurt our cows, you... <sighs> Just... Okay, I'm gonna have to kinda... Go off... Out of bounds here? Off out of bounds, yeah. But, yeah, I'm gonna have to go out of bounds to... Figure out how... What I'm supposed to do in the first place. What am I calculating? This is not something I should need hints for. This is a, this is not a good level. I'm sorry, but it is not. No. I'm sorry. Or maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'll check with my manager and or lawyer. Well, I guess the video's long enough anyway. So this has been B-Through back in a 7. And I guess I'll look for stuff between videos. 
But until then, I'll see you next part, and have a nice one!